What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Team of the Season Sala. I have never really been a fan of Sala on FIFA since I think if I am, let's have a look at the generations. I think FIFA 19 I quite liked him. Was it or was it 18? It was either FIFA 18 with one of his special cards or FIFA 19. I can't remember. FIFA 20, I just couldn't get along with him. We did try out his team of the season, and obviously that was going to be fantastic being 97. But all of the others, I don't know what it was. I just could not get along with him. I feel like the striker card was the only one that I couldn't get my hands on. But this year, he's obviously had a 90 on the base, 91 in form, 92 second in form. And he has got a 94 road to the final, which unfortunately doesn't go up anymore. And then now he has his 96. So straight off the bat, I'm thinking, why is he only at a plus two? I really, really don't understand how these upgrades are working. I suppose if you look at the second in form and it's a plus four, I'd say this card's at least a 97, 98, but obviously 96 is where we're going with him. He is very, very statted. We've got outside of the foot shot and finesse shot on the traits. And just look at them stats. The pace is perfect. The, sh the shooting is just unreal as well. Honestly, we're going to struggle to see what we can actually give this card. The chemistry style is going to be sniper because obviously pass wise he's got the short pass he's got vision he's got curve he doesn't really need anything else like i don't need long passing on him he's not necessarily going to be completing any of them obviously the physical side of him 83 on the base isn't awful for a for a what how tall is he five nine for a wing player it's not bad obviously with a sniper he does end up with 88 strength and 80 aggression and also 91 jumping we have got incredible agility balance we've got great composure reaction ball control and dribbling overall this card is fit for absolutely hammering teams so hopefully on the final send we potentially could get our man sala but without further ado let's have a look and see what sala can do into sala First touch of the ball, that acceleration already has me absolutely giddy. Oh, oh, nearly. Literally, that that pace just looks like an absolute cheat code. You, you, oh, I thought we might have been able to just get that little scoop. But that pace and acceleration looks like it's going to be absolutely filthy against teams. Literally, the dribbling on him. Okay, damn, Gunter's going to get to him. Obviously, Gunter being quite fast himself. And that's going to be the kind of disadvantage of, of Salah as well, is pretty much most left-back and right-backs are rapid as well now. But the dribbling, the acceleration, the just in general kind of presence of him is absolutely phenomenal. Like, look at that. That is absolute stunning stuff from him. Just brings it across. He doesn't even care that we're going to him. We could literally, and this is where you know a good player is good, is that you can give him the ball all the time and he'll still get past, even if they know you're giving it to him all the time. Find Salah on that run. Oh, I thought we was going to be able to get to it. And again, the speed is wonderful as we try and go for the dribble with him. What can we find with him? Literally, just he feels so quick on that turn. It's lovely to use. Sala going down the wing. Lovely little cut in here. We see Cantona on that cut. Oh, went for the over. Well, it's the outside of the foot. Wanted to go with a fake shot, potentially then bringing out the opponent. Can we go for the... Oh, okay, we're going for the goal there. But was hopefully going to go for that fake shot because I feel like the defender would have absolutely been done by that. Into Salah. We're going to find the 1 2 with Kane. Hopefully not. Into Salah. Finding it through. Passes it across. Oh, keeper just managing to push that away. Into Salah. What can we find with him? We're going to go with that little 1 2 to chip over the top. What can we find? Oh, he's done him. Little ball roll. Oh, look at that dribbling. Absolutely sensational. He's very, very frustrated into the foul, and it is a penalty into Salah. Honestly, actually, one of my favorites. If I could get a Rashford and Salah before the end of uh, the upgrade packs, that would be absolutely fantastic. Both of them are just absolutely insane. It is crazy to use them. His dribbling is absolutely phenomenal. It is just, it's perfect. Like, literally, he is the perfect winger. And, and I don't really say that much about Salah just because like I say, I didn't, not necessarily didn't enjoy him in most of the games, but I just, I always had better, or at least 
someone who I preferred in, in, in them scenarios. And I think this year, I've not really given him too much of a chance in terms of even his gold. I've played with his road to the final that was decent. But this card definitely takes the cake as we get very, very lucky with that one. Wanted to try something with the chip. Maybe catch the keeper off guard. But we get the rebound at the very least. Salah again. It's going to work with Kane with the 1-2. He knows where we're going with him. Oh, just look at that. That is just some of the... Oh, imagine if we got the shot off. Honestly, I, I genuinely don't think I can say it enough about him. Just phenomenal. The quick feet of him is insane. Where Kane definitely comes out on top. And the pass inside of him is normally pretty fantastic. As Salah is reeking. All of the benefits fall right there. It's a lovely assist. And Kane has been a beautiful asset into this team. Oh, Salah, stop it. Honestly, what a cracking ball from Kane again. Into Salah's feet. And he just makes it look so easy. Into Kane. Going across goal. That's a great save from Edison. Salah's going to come for it. Trying to go for that whipped ball in, but unfortunately, not quite there. So going into the overall four, big boy Salah then. He's coming in at 1.2 mil on the Xbox, 1.4 on the PlayStation, and is absolutely phenomenal. He is a cracking card. The dribbling, the pace, the shooting, just his overall presence on the ball is amazing. His animations genuinely are just incredible. I think in terms of value for him, just make sure the camera's right and just knocked it over. In terms of value for him, I think he's pretty much bang on. In terms of looking at kind of like the other Premier League players, we look at the likes of Rashford and Son. They obviously just a little bit more than him. But I think that mainly comes down to the fact that he has got a 94 that really isn't that far behind him, to be honest. And I think that for me, how much is he? 902. So it makes sense. Normally you find if they do have cards that are very similar in rating, it kind of equals their rate, their kind of price out. With obviously not having a, a weak foot upgrade or a skill move upgrade, he is going to be kind of just a little bit of an upgrade from that 94. If you don't have 1.2, but you have a mil, you can go get the 94 that realistically there's probably not going to be loads of difference obviously some some differences will happen but it's going to be very minute for plus twos and threes you won't really notice it in looking at this card though kind of like key factors pace both 99 can't argue with we whacked what was it the snipe yeah it was the sniper uh the sniper which obviously maxes out the shooting his finishing was just phenomenal plus then he does have some decent traits with the finesse shot and outside of the foot shot which is always perfect passing wise crossing short pass long pass we didn't really need like i said he's not necessarily one that's going to be utilizing that one we've got a bit of strength i felt like he held the ball well i felt like he held it held his own managed to get past defenders and even managed to barge a few in terms of dribbling like we we can kind of just sit here all day and just mesmerize that literally turning after turn after turn he just makes defenders look absolutely silly and it's so quick it's so snappy very neymar-esque in terms of kind of like the the reaction time of it very very very, very impressed with this card we're going to be grinding all of tonight and tomorrow to try and get ourselves the egyptian king because this guy would be phenomenal and if we can get a rashford on the other side or at least even a son then obviously that would be fantastic as well overall salah for me is a big boy 10 can't really argue with it i think he's just incredible obviously we will be getting more cards as we go through team of the season so we will check them out for me it would definitely be team of the season salah over team of the season bailey so let's Let's get into the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe on this one. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.